Shalom of Racha. The Gemara discusses why the two Batei Mikdash were destroyed, the first and the second, on the same day of Tisha B'Av that we mourn on Thursday this week. And the Gemara says something which I find incredible, astounding. The Gemara said the first Mikdash was destroyed because of the three big Averis, the cardinal sins, Avodah Zarah, Gilu Arayas, and Shvi Chastamim, idolatry, Arayas, and, and murder. The second base of Mikdash, however, says the Gemara, the people were good, ostensibly. They had Torah, they had mitzvahs, they had Gmilas Chasadim. So why was the Ba'is destroyed? Says the Gemara, because of Sinas Chinom, because of baseless hatred. And this is what we find incredible. How can the Gemara, in the same breath, say that on the one hand, they had Gmilas Chasadim, they did kindness with one another, they helped each other out in their hours of need. They were kind and good to each other. Gmilas chasadim. But on the other hand, they had sinas chinam. In the same breath, the same people. Baseless hatred and acts of loving kindness. How do those two things go together? The answer is a distinction between the superficial and the internal. Between what you do on the outside externally and between what you feel on the inside, internally. This is what the Gra says. The Gra explains the Gemara. The Gemara makes a comparison between Bais Rish and Bais Sheni. Who was worse? The generation of the destruction of Bais Rish or that of Bais Sheni? Which one was worse? Says the Gemara, look at the result. The first temple was destroyed after 70 years. We rebuilt it. The second one was destroyed and we're still waiting. We're still mourning. So you see that the second generation, the generation of Bais Sheni, was worse, was in a worse spiritual condition. Says the Gemara, because in Bais Rishon, they were Rishayim. Superficially, they were bad. But Talu Bitchonim Beboiram, but they had Bitachin in Hashem. Says the Gra, internally, they were good. Their external aspects, their deeds were bad, they were evil. But internally, they had a close connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. They had faith, trust, hope in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Internally, they were good. Superficially, they were bad. In the time of the second Beis HaMikdosh, in the destruction of Bais Sheni, the opposite was true. Superficially, they were good. They had Torah, Mitzvah, Gmilas, Chasadim. But internally, they were evil. Internally, they were empty. Their superficial deeds didn't reflect any beauty internally. And says the Gemara, that condition is infinitely worse. That's the condition of Sinas Chinom. Sinas Chinom doesn't necessarily mean that we're not doing kindness and good deeds and being friendly. Sinas Chinom means that internally we feel that there's no connection between us and our fellow man and our fellow people. We don't feel any love inside. On the contrary, we feel hatred. And that hatred doesn't necessarily have expression in our gemilas chasadim. You can have a disconnect between the superficial aspect and what's going on on the inside. And the same thing is true concerning bitachin in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You can do a lot of mitzvahs, but still feel distant from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Feel a lack of trust, a lack of faith, a lack of hope in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You do your superficial mitzvahs, but you don't feel the connection. And somehow the feeling is that our generation has so much good on a superficial level. We have so much Torah. We have so much chesed. We're pretty good. But internally, we're still not there. Internally, the connection between man and his fellow isn't there. If it would be there, says the Gemara, Al kol peshaim techase ava. When there's love between one person and his fellow, then all of the differences between them, even the wrongs, the grievances that we have with one another, but the ava, the love that's between us, is able to compensate for that, is able to brush them aside and to make sure that we retain a close connection. And do we do that? Are we able to do that one community with another, one sector with other sectors, one group with other groups? Are we able to maintain those close connections in spite of our differences? Or do those differences really set us aside? And the same is true of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. 
Ve'ahavta l'recha kamoicha is a cloud gadol b'teira. The relationships that we feel with our fellow people, with fellow man and with each woman, with her fellow woman, those relationships, they reflect on our relationship with the Kaddish Baruch Hu, Because it's the same pnimius. It's the ability to step out of ourselves and feel the connection, feel the trust, feel the intimacy, the love with one another. And the same thing with the Kaddish Baruch Hu, the bitacha in the trust in a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And halavai, that we should be able to reach a completion on that level too, on the level of internally, as well, of course, as our superficial deeds. And b'zoicha b'mhera b'amenu to the ge'ola shleima v'simchas oilam al roisham and the day the tainus of Tisha B'av, together with the other tainus should be uprooted, should be reversed from yom evel l'simcha g'dola b'mhera b'amenu. Amen.